Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you this little custom Happy Meal set that I made using products from May May Made It. Um, this is a design team project, so and it was very much inspired by the weather. I know it's kind of bright and cheery looking, but because the weather at my house looks like this, very dark and white and kind of gray and dreary, I needed to bring some color into my life. So that is why I am making this kind of bright and cheery and almost springtime-ish, just because, um, yeah, I wanted some, some color. So these are the two stamp sets I'm going to be using, and we're going to make this card right here, and a matching envelope, and some custom stationery. So if you're like me and you like to send out happy mail, pen pal letters, um, anything like that. These, I think, are some stamp sets that you absolutely need in your stash. So the first one is called Big Time Sayings, and that is the one with the happy hello hugs and celebrate on it. And the other one is called It's in the Mail. We are going to be using just a standard A2 size card base and envelope. And this is just uh, from my stash. It's just, um, this one has like postal markings all over it, embossing folder, and we're going to be using that. I'm going to make my background with some colors. I'm going to use, um, I think that one is ripe persimmon. I'm going to use wilted violet and twisted citron. And I'm just going to kind of quickly go through and ink up my background. And this is on the Strath Stratmore Bristol, Bristol Smooth cardstock. Yeah, I can say this. And I'm just going to kind of keep going over it, blending it until it kind of smooths out and there's no real harsh lines. Um, for the only thing I did different between card number one, card set number one and card set number two is I think I swapped out the purple for um, the picked raspberry. Otherwise I used the same other two colors. So I'm just going to run this through my embossing folder. And you can't really see the embossing detail very well right now, So, um, but you can see there it's kind of all male related. And I'm just going to run over it one more time with um, the same colors just to kind of bring out the raised part of the embossed image. There you go. So now you can see it a little bit better. Super cute. Goes really well with my little set right here. Um, also just kind of threw some on another scrap piece of Bristol Smooth and I'm going to stamp the inside of the It's in the Mail. This is a cute little, little letter stamp. I'm going to stamp that out three times on each one of the colors there. And then we're going to fussy cut those out later as part of the embellishments for our card. And I, I stamped each one like three times because um, the embossed, not embossed, yeah, if I could think of the word, um, the oxides kind of dull out anything that you put on top of it. So if you want a nice, crisp, bright image um, and you're putting it on top of oxide inks, you're going to have to, oops, sorry about that. My phone's going off. You're going to have to stamp it multiple times. This is just a little punch I had in my stash, and it kind of looks like a stamp shape. So I'm going to punch that out and use it, but you could easily just cut out a little square and um, use it as a stamp. We're also going to stamp out the little snail that comes with the in it, It's in the Mail stamp set. And I also stamped that on the envelope and on the stationary piece. We're going to use hugs on this one, and we're going to we're going to um, cut that out. I also used a stitch rectangle die to cut out my panel, and we're going to attach our panel to our card base. And this is just a two by three piece of white card stock that I'm going to use as my little piece of piece of mail. I'm going to put my stamp on it, and I also am going to eventually. I'm going to stamp a heart, which also comes on that stamp set. I'm going to stamp one of the hearts right in the middle of that um, little postage stamp. This is, I did all of, most of the coloring off camera um, just to save time, but this is a little tip. If you're coloring with alcohol markers on your envelopes, you don't want it to bleed through to the other side, so just stick a piece of scrap cardstock inside of your envelope and do your coloring. Also, these things are not, um, cop uh, obviously not, alcohol marker friendly um, surfaces so don't over blend and it may um, bleed out of your image a little bit but I'll show you how I fix that because it did do it in a couple spots but just minimal blending um, the really light hand for the snail that's cut out on the top there um, that's on Copic friendly paper but the rest of it is not 
my stationery I actually cut from, I just took an eight and a half by 11 piece of 65 pound white cardstock and cut it in half. And that's what I'm using for my stationery. So once everything is colored in, I'm gonna draw some lines here on my stationery just so that I have a place to write. You totally don't have to do this. I just think it looks cute having the little, and I'm just, I'm just using a black micron pen to draw my lines and a straight ruler or a T ruler. And that's that. And now we're just going to put our card together. This is a super, actually it's a pretty fast project here. So we're going to pop up our letter in the middle. And then we're just going to kind of arrange all of our, our little extras that are already fussy cut out and ready to go up there in the top corner around the letter. And I just think this makes like a really cute um, thing to send to somebody that you're going to write a letter to. Or if you just, you know, don't want to do the letter part. Um, decorating the envelopes is so fun. People love getting envelopes that are all decorated like that. And if you're worried about putting that much work into an envelope, it really wasn't. Honestly, it took me like less than five minutes to do that. You can, they, those um, plastic see-through glassine envelopes that you can shove it inside of if you wanted to. Um, and then that way your envelope won't get messed up in the mail, but um, it really didn't take that long. So we're just going to pop up all of our different little elements here. So the envelopes I kind of stuffed behind. Those are flat to the letter. And everything else is popped up. And that's pretty much it. That's going to complete our project. Um, I hope this gives you some inspiration, brings a little cheeriness to the dreariness that's going on outside. And I will see you again real, real soon with another project from May May Made It. Um, also, if you want to go check out my blog, I will have a list of all the supplies that I used in this video. And right there I'm showing you how to fix just a white gel pen. Go around the outside and you will get rid of any of your the bleeding that happens um, if you happen to oversaturate um, any of your coloring on the paper that's not alcohol friendly. Oh, uh, one last thing. I also went in with some Wink of Stella and I put some sparkle and shine on the hearts and the snail shell on all three of my little pieces here. Anyway, so you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you again real, real soon with another project. Um, yeah, so bye-bye. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day.